really uh, thought it was a competitive game. Um, I thought our defensive front did a pretty good job with some pressure. Uh, overall, I thought the uh, quarterbacks did fairly well. You know, I know we had a pick in there, but I thought they pushed, put the ball where they needed to. I thought Sean had a good day. Uh, you know, we didn't operate with our top running backs, but appreciated those guys out there. And I thought there's some pretty good aggressive defensive play. So uh, that being said, questions. Rick, I know you'll make a, you know, you'll send, you'll send out a depth chart after this, but does Sean have a very, you know, has he, he got a good chance to beat the starter coming out of spring? I'm always going to reserve judgment, but I thought he played well today. I thought Tyler did some good things, but I thought uh, both of them uh, did some good things. But, uh, you know, Sean went into this as, uh, spring game, number one, and I thought he played pretty well. So you can read into that any way you want to. But that's kind of how I see it. I know the quarterback's not being live this spring. Mm -hmm. It's giving him a chance to kind of focus on, right. on passing. And where has his passing come from in the last year to, to the end of the well, spring? Well, we've opened up the playbook. There's some things that we showed today that we haven't uh, last year. Um, you know, I think his accuracy has improved some. Uh, certainly last year, you know, he was a mobile quarterback. Both of the guys were in there. We, we did some more drop back game today, which is part of really, you know, a big, big portion of what we do. So much of it, uh, what we did with uh, Sean last year was play action pass. And so you can only do so many things, you know, as we got against Utah State, we weren't, you can't play action pass when you're, you're in two minutes. And so, uh, you know, I think he's just understanding more what we're doing offensively. Craig, you know, you might wanted to see what you get from your safeties. You know, saw Braden Smith make a very nice interception yep. in the open field. Were you, were you pleased with that? Or were you pleased, at least for not having not watched film, pleased with some of your safety um, play? You know what? I, I thought some good things, but you know, an old defensive coach, C.J. Johnson, made a nice catch for a touchdown, but we probably should have made a tackle there. I'll take a look at that on tape. But we've made progress. It was great to see Marcus Epps get drafted today. Really happy about that as when you're talking about safeties. <laughs> Bra did Braden kind of solidify his hold on that number one spot at three? Today, well, think? I think so. You know, he's had a good uh, spring. Both he and Elijah played a lot, and uh, we'll, we'll count on those guys pushing forward. Any word on him, uh, on Eric? You know, on off, Eric? Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, initially, uh, it's, his knee's a little bit loose. Uh, they, they don't know. They'll, they'll probably scope it on Monday to exactly see what's in there. I checked at halftime and talked to the doctors. You know, it can be from everything to a minor deal or pretty serious. So we'll we'll check it. This one of those things that, you know, a lot of head coaches are no longer doing spring games. And uh, some of it is just because of depth and then you don't want to get guys hurt. However, you know, we feel like it's important for the maturation of our football team and to continue to promote our program. And we want to say thanks for the fans that are out here today. Like with all the old line injuries, I mean, you obviously you don't like it. How concerned are you going into camp, you know, thinking you're going to get most of those guys back? Or just how concerned are you with all well, that? You're always concerned, uh, Robert, but I think we're going to get a lot of those guys back and hopefully we'll have Big E back also. You mentioned CJ's touchdown, but mm -hmm. you talked about wanting to see some playmaking ability more from these receivers. What would you think? I thought uh, there were some good things today. Rocket, uh, you know, when he touched the ball, made a couple people miss. I thought Aiden Everhart did some good things uh, once he caught the football. Uh, tight ends. Jackson Marquette, we believe, has got a really bright future. And so uh, um, those guys did some things. Wyatt Wheeler did some good things as well. And like I said, I thought CJ made a nice play on the touchdown. I, uh, I'll, I'll check to see if our secondary is out of, out of uh, place. But they made a nice catch and changed the direction. So the touchdown. Galovich played. I mean, it seems like he's come, Galovich? Away, he's come a long way from, from the year ago. Well, uh, yeah, you know what? He's working on his skill, and it's going to be important. You know, we've got our main punter that's hurt right now, and so we worked with Dante. So Brian did a capable job. Most of his punts today were in the 40-yard range. And 